Colonel, I think love is brewing in my pants. Hello, Space Cowboys, and welcome to Mass Effect 1. I thought I might wait until Monday to actually put these up. However, I just thought, you know, it's a long-ass game. Might as well get started on it as soon as possible so that we can move on to the next project. And you may be wondering why I'm doing a sh well, I've done a few shooters on my channel, but you may be wondering why I'm doing this one because you may not like this game. Well, I I don't know. I think it's a pretty good game. I have fun with it. I mean, it's definitely flawed. It's not perfect. It's not the best third-person shooter, but I really do enjoy it. So that's why I'm making videos on it. And enough of that. So Welcome let's start a new career as robotic Classified lady speaks requested. into our face. And Establishing I, do, I, mean, I just like action RPGs, secure you know? They're just interesting confirmed. to me. Just kind of that customizable aspect. But, oops, Please I did not mean to do to that. No, John, custom mail. Yeah, we'll do custom Please mail to make him to look cool. Um, I don't know. Let's go with that. That sounds cool. Alright, so we're going to make him look how we want to look. I'll try and make him look a little bit like me, but no promises because I tried that last time. And ended up looking nothing like me, so <laughs> we'll Warning. see. Data we'll see. corruption detected. Yeah, and then there's this whole thing here. It it is a pretty long game. It's probably going to be about Please 70 70 parts, I'd say. Confirm pre-service history. All right, let's see. I think I usually go with Earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolis covering Earth. You escaped a life of petty crime in underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Confirm psychological profile. And I am going... I am going Renegade in this playthrough because I always play as Paragon in like every other game so I kind of want to see what it's like to be Renegade for once. So, throughout your military career you have held fast to one basic rule, get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency Makes your fellow soldiers wary of you, but when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Confirm military specialization. And I'm going to play as Adept. Now I'll explain what each of these classes are. Soldier is your stereotypical use every gun out there class, which is, in my opinion, really boring. It's the one that everybody uses, so I'm going to avoid that. Engineer, also very boring. Your gun skills are pretty low, and tech isn't... That's yeah, kind of weird to me. Infiltrator was my second choice for this run. Because snipers are awesome, but eh, I think I'd rather just be super mage guy. Sentinel, I just really did not care about. And Vanguard was actually the one I played through the first run through of this game, and I had a lot of fun with it, but I kind of wanted to try something different. So we're going Adept, which is completely magic ability, or as they call it in this game, biotics. So, biotic special, they're specialists, and Confirm it should be fun. Facial identification. I'm going to change my appearance, and I'll edit this until. Right when we come back, so I'll see you once it's done. All right, well I think that looks a little bit, a little bit accurate, not too much. I don't have blue eyes, for example. I have brown eyes, but I always thought brown hair and blue eyes looked pretty good together. So I, I guess we'll just stick with this. Profile reconstruction complete. Except once you confirm, yeah, okay, so we should be good to go. Confirmed. And of course we'll go with normal difficulty, we'll go with squad only auto level up, yes, and subtitles, I don't know what the hell lysage is, leasage, I don't know. I'm sure you guys are going to tell me in the comments. Target assist, normal, I guess, I don't, I don't even know. But let's get started with this opening cutscene. So, it's a very cutscene heavy game. Very cutscene heavy game, so let's get started. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn? No record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done. No matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call.
Cyrus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. That effect. It's so pretty. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. No, oh, cut the charter. That's enough. Your soldiers, act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker. You'd better be that sorry. Is. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I heard. I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> oh, Colonel. Looks like I'm some kind of space marine. On some kind of weird ship. Well, Snake, what happened? What was the last thing you remember? Well, I was having sex with this girl with huge boobs and. I guess she slipped something into my drink or something, but I just woke up here. I don't know. Ugh. Okay, so. Who are you talking about? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm gonna be honest. The only reason I'm playing Mass Effect One is to play Mass Effect Two. I think Mass Effect Two is far, far superior to this game. However, this game is still pretty decent. So, let's talk to Nihilus. Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Talk? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't oh. it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Let me just say, this guy's race, the this guy is belongs to a race called Turians, and those are actually my favorite alien races in this game, so... Is that a threat? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown. Run. That's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Uh, let me actually just explain this dialogue system first. Usually you'll have a choice between f ranging from two to six things to say, usually. And usually a choice on the top means it's Paragon, which means it's like, quote, good. And, well, I don't want to, I'll explain that more later, but top is Paragon, bottom is Renegade, 
So we're gonna usually be choosing the bottom choices, so... You should've told me! Ugh, oh, Colonel! I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What are the details? What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But I'll Eden jump Prime your technology forward 200 something. years. Wink, wink. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. We don't need your help here. We can handle this on our own. Unless something goes wrong. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate. Like hell he is. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. And what if I refuse? I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. By the way, if you're wondering, Joker is our pilot. Just FYI. Who's that hot piece of butt? We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't. Get e back. They came out of nowhere. We need. out after that no calm traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold at 38.5 mm -hmm. status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Right, we'll find out what that that thing is soon enough. It's Can actually pretty cool. Systems. I like those guys. Well, I don't like them, but I like them. You understand. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ugh, can we trust him? Ugh. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. Count on us. We've got his back, Captain. 
The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Yes, sir. We are approaching drop point two. I love the green trees against the pink raging sky. He said, would you kindly subscribe?